What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rob Slack here, and today I'm joined by Unreal ENT Gaming, and today we talk about Dragon Ball Z Budoka Tenkaichi 3 because, well, um, many reasons. The first reason because PS4 is officially, actually, it officially has emulation as of today for, I believe, only eight games. It consists of like GTA Vice City, San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 3, I think, Dark Cloud, a couple other games. Hell yeah. Uh, nothing Dragon Ball related yet. And, uh, both myself and Unreal ENT Gaming made a video. Uh, let you guys know to comment on his blog post to let people over at Sony know that you know we want some Dragon Ball games on this list. We want to be able to play Tenkaichi 3, you know, Infinite World stuff like that on the PS4. And uh, as of right now, there's no updates for that at all. But the reason why we decided to do this video is because in the process of both of us talking about Tenkaichi 3, we noticed that there's a lot of backlash around Tenkaichi 3. Too like, much backlash. Uh, comments, a lot of back, yeah. And the comments consist of, of things like, oh, Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3 is overrated, that game sucks, why do you guys want to play that? Why not Budokai 3? Uh, yada, 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 yada. Well, first of all, Budokai 3 already came out in an HD collection, which is kind of weird that people requested that. Uh, that came out actually very recently, too, like like three years ago or so, and you're able to play Budokai 1 and 3 on your PS3 and Xbox 360. The reason why we want to take Tenkaichi 3 is because we never got an HD treatment for that game. We, uh... I also just want to play it in the PS4 again, and it just has this like fun nostalgic factor that you know made Dragon Ball Z games so great back in the day when Absolutely. we were on the PS2. But the reason why I decided, you know, why we want to get together and just talk about Tenkaichi 3 is because uh, we just basically want to say why we enjoy that game. And if there's any point in this video you want to contribute, just leave a comment below saying why you yourself enjoyed it or why you didn't enjoy it. Just basically, this is your uh, open forum for that game and input in the comment section below. But uh, Alex, how about you start us off? What is it about Tenkaichi 3 that made you like uh, that game so much more? Over other games. Actually, the first question is, is: What do you like better? Do you like Budokai or do you like Tenkaichi better? Well, here's the thing. I, I I guess I would say that I played Budokai Tenkaichi three more than anything else because uh, I remember having friends over my house and we used to host uh, Dragon Ball tournaments and do split screen battles, uh -huh. and it was just really intense because I think Tenkaichi introduced. Uh, being the first to introduce environment destruction to the point where we were able to fight everywhere uh, and as uh -huh. opposed to Budokai uh, We were just like, you know specifically located to be in one little place and uh, Like as good as Budokai was to me I always felt like Tenkaichi was that much better and over the years as Tenkaichi began to die out uh, the Dragon uh -huh. Ball community kept it alive with the mods and people out there like uh, Imaji Gaming who's been making tons of mods for the game uh, spawned right. you know fan made characters like you know Zyko and all these other characters so Tenkaichi always had that nostalgia feeling especially like even with the story like the story itself was like so it, I, I wouldn't say it was so dragged out but like it just it, it, it marinated everything we needed from Dragon Ball and we got everything out of it because I think that Dragon Ball Z Budokan Tenkaichi 3 also had the largest roster amongst any other Dragon Ball game which is pretty cool because we uh -huh. get to play as every single great ape we get to play as the not only the Dragon Ball characters but the Dragon Ball Z characters and GT characters and it was really cool to mix right. it up sometimes because uh you know like prior to that we never really had that large of a roster like Budokai 3 only kept it to a certain amount uh same thing applies with Budokai 2 and 1 uh Tenkaichi 1 and 2 had a I would say a decent roster but then Budokai Tenkaichi 3 definitely just upped it up with like the roster rate and not only that but uh -huh. Budokai Tenkaichi 3 also sold the most units um as opposed to Budokai Budokai has kept going down in terms of sales whereas opposed to Budokai Tenkaichi always you know kept increasing in sales which is why so many people right. out there wanted to see Budokai Tenkaichi 4 um and we just never got that we got Burst Slim and we got Raging Blast and stuff like that which there, we have no problem with that but the the fact remains that, you know, just Tenkaichi 3 offered a different style. We had a very large uh, roster selection to choose from, and I think that the game itself just hold, holds a lot of meaning because you have uh, the best of all three worlds. You have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and GT, and I don't believe there's any other game out there that had the original Dragon Ball characters, Dragon Ball Z characters, and Dragon Ball GT characters all on one roster. So that was pretty cool to me. Uh, but what about you? Yeah. Like, I want to know, like, your overall factor, like, what made... Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 stand out for you because um, as we made those videos, some people were like, well, I would like to see Raging Blast 3 or I would like to see Xenoverse 2. Of course, I mean, we would all like Let to see Let me address that. that too. Let me address that too. So when both of us made that video, if Sony or Bandai Namco decide to release uh, a digital version of Tenkaichi 3 or Infinite World, that will not hinder the development of uh, Xenoverse 2 or any other Dragon Ball game that they might be working on. Think of it as a bonus game. So it's like, hey, would you guys rather have two DBZ games in a year or one? Uh, obviously, the answer is two. And I don't know why a lot of people are like, no, I'd rather have that. They should work, dude. They're working on those games. Exactly. It just never, it, it never made sense. 
Yeah, but what I was gonna say is before I start, uh, I'm gonna say two things. This video isn't to bash Budokai. Like we both love Budokai, and we know why people like Budokai. Budokai is a fun game. It's very nostalgic. It offers like this incredible fighting, uh, I guess, aspect of the Dragon Ball world, and it was just an incredible game. But the reason why I personally prefer Budokai Tenkaichi more over Budokai, or basically most Dragon Ball Z games, and before I continue, remember Xenoverse is my favorite game. I want to just toss it out there again. It's I know it's kind of weird that I like Xenos the most, and I know a lot of people are like, why that game? I've said it before in the video, in the, another video, but for now we're talking about Tenkaichi 3. Tenkaichi 3 is my second favorite DBZ game right now, and just because I think it was the first time where it um, it actually captured uh, the fighting that Dragon Ball, you know, introduced us in Dragon Ball Z. I feel like it, the fighting that game feels a lot more fast-paced, dynamic, it's just really hype, as opposed to Budokai. And to also just talk about... Uh, the sales, because uh, because Alex mentioned the sales. Um, when Budokai One was released in a PS2 back in 2002, it sold 3.1 uh, million copies, which is incredible for an anime game. But then again, it, just remember this was the first DBZ game in a long time since Final Bout, and Final Bout wasn't a fun game. So it was it was like the first time we had a good DBZ game. Budokai Tenkaichi 2 sold 2.4 million, so it went down a little bit, which was kind of weird. You would expect it would sell more. And then Budokai 3, which is everyone's fan favorite, uh, sold 1.9 million, so it went down a little more again. Now, when Tenkaichi came out, Tenkaichi 1 was a bad game, and Tenkaichi 1 came out at 1.6 million sales, which is still pretty good. Uh, Tenkaichi 2 then dropped, actually. Tenkaichi 2 didn't even break a million sales, but then Tenkaichi 3 came back and busted out 3 million sales. So it's like... The, the fan base around Tenkaichi was definitely there and people love it, but still, we have to kind of address the fact that it's not an overrated game. Now, the criticism that Tenkaichi 3 has always had was uh, the game was a lot of copy and paste characters, which is true. I mean, oh, absolutely. most of, like, the, the, it's not really a hundred, like, let's think like 100, 120 characters or so. It's not really 120 characters. It's more like 40 or so and then different variations with different skins. Well, yeah, because most of them fight the same way. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. However, what I want to toss out there that to kind of defend that game, nobody plays with every single character. Let's be real here. Who here actually uses Dodoria and Zarbon on a regular? Excuse nobody. Me, Who here actually I uses do, okay? Pui, uh, a pool? Or, anyway, nobody uses these characters. Uh, except for Alex, apparently. No, but uh, <laughs> uh, anybody out there that always tries to say, well, take H3 isn't that great because of copy paste characters. Look. In any DBZ game out there, whether it's Burst, even Burst Limit, Burst Limit, I probably use half the roster in that game just because I don't want to play with people like Raccoon or Captain Yeah, Ginyu. the same thing applies to Xenoverse. How many people out there were playing yeah. with, like, little kid Gohan and, like, you know, Videl? Nobody plays these characters. I mean, like, the thing is, is when, you, when you hear a Dragon Ball Z game, the first thing you think, well, how big is the roster? Oh, the roster is about this big. And if the number is not massive, people always complain. Uh, but when the ros ros uh, roster is massive, then people complain that it's too copy and paste. But again, let's be real here. When it comes out to DBZ games, we use the same... 10 characters. We use the Gokus, the Gohans, the Freezes, the Cells, the Kid Boos. We essentially use the same, like, same set of main the characters. Nobody, characters. Uses, nobody really uses the side characters. But, again, that's beside the point. The whole point of this video is to talk about Tenkaichi. And the reason why I like this so much more over Budokai is because it just felt more like a fighting game. Like, it moved really, really fast. If you master the timing for the snap finishers, you can actually emulate how the fighting was in Dragon Ball Z. Like, you can go really fast, snap, finish, uh, instant transmission all over the screen, you know, link together the amazing moves that create these amazing animations. Like, when you busted out... Remember when you busted out the father son Kamehameha with Team Absolutely. Gohan, how and awesome not, that not was? Not only that, but, like, it was the combination systems. Like, I felt like certain characters had such great combos, and that's why yeah. certain people complained about Xenoverse. They were like, well, we wish we had some of the Tenkaichi 3 combination systems because uh, characters like Bardock had a very different combat simulation system than someone like Broly or Goku did because they uh -huh. all fought like in their own little unique way. And and that was what made it really cool. And going back to what you just said about the Gohan, you know, Father Son Command Mail Wave, like that in and of itself was awesome too because that that actually uh you know set set the stages for like games like Raging Blast to incorporate like the same factor to where uh you know they they add like they had like that little cutscene to where like you actually get to see the Command Mail Wave and Goku and Gohan right. struggling to do it and stuff. It was really cool. So dra like Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 actually molded the next generation of games I believe because of just, uh -huh. just the simple fact of like the exploration around the map and like the style because we had Budokai you it, it was basically a, like a what was it like a 2D simulation it was it wasn't like you know like all over the map kind of thing it, like you weren't just like picking and choosing where you want to go you're pretty much stuck mm -hmm. in one spot kicking and punching and doing like the same combinations whereas opposed to Tenkaichi you had the option to like if I didn't want to fight you in this location I'll fly my ass like 
10 feet this way and I'll be able to kick your ass like in a different spot. So that was really, yeah. you know, Tenkaichi cool because yeah. how many times can you recall fighting your friend and you had to chase him around the map? You had to like, Dude, you know, if, use like, like for example, every time you did uh, a Kamehameha wave in Budokai, you, 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 you would either like step left or step right, whatever. But in, in Tenkaichi, you would either fly up, fly down, step aside, go around them. It was pretty crazy. So or you're right. Like they offered a very unique style to the game and the combination system in and of itself. Like it felt smooth. You can either fight really slow or you can fight like at a, at a very fast pace. Dude, I wish I was a YouTuber when I was in college because when me and like Jaden Tassi used to play, for example, our fights were so intense. We would get so into it, and that's what made I guess that's why I like Tenkaichi Three so much more with Budokai. Now again, Budokai is is a fast paced game. Again, we're not trying to make this and Budokai is like still that game. amazing, guys. Still, uh, Budokai it's super is fast. The best. You know, not you know, you guys know me. I love Infinite World better, and Infinite World again is just as fast. Infinite World is basically a burst limit. Uh, but again, going back to the old games, my favorite by far is Tenkaichi Three. And then from the newer games, the universe is by far my most favorite of all time. But like, when it comes down to it, Tank H3 was a great game. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. But it was a great game. We enjoyed it. A lot of us enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know. I guess the question I have for you guys is, is, did you guys honestly not like that game? And if you didn't, then why? And if you did like it, also tell me why. Like, basically, this is an opportunity for all the Tank H3 fans to step forward and kind of basically defend your game. Like, like comment below what made, get, what made that game so awesome. And basically speak up to let people know who always, you know, come on and say, oh, it's overrated. Oh, this game sucks. It doesn't suck. And it's that right perfect. there is the keyword, I mean, speaking out. And, and that's why we made that video, because we wanted to go on ahead and allow the community to voice their opinions. Now, sometimes petitions can work. Uh, again, like Ramstal said, this this is a hit or miss. This can either be a success or a failure. But either way, uh, it brings the community together and actually allows uh -huh. the people to have an opinion. Because I definitely want to see a, another Dragon Ball Z game drop next year. Because I think as Dragon Ball fans, we do want more content. And let's yep. say, for example, they do decide to drop a brand new Dragon Ball Z game next year. But it's going to be like all the way in December. So why not have something prior to that? Some, some, someone, sometime like, like in April or June, or whatever the case may be, like, drop a game before that, you know, like, Even something sooner. like Budokai Tenkaichi 3 or Budokai, whatever, and we get to, you know, just, like, relive that moment, because for me, again, Infinite World, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi was just one of those games where, you like, you sat there, and you had a great time with your friends if you did the world tournament. Exactly. It, 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 and, and, and as a Dragon Ball fan, you have to learn to appreciate that. Now, if you guys aren't fans of Budokai Tenkaichi, that, that's fine, too, because some people out there, believe it or not, they do prefer Burst Limit over anything else. That's why they wish they had a Burst Limit 2 or Raging Blast 3 and stuff like that. So I wish we had that, too. No, absolutely. I and wish. Certain, certain people are fans of, like, certain titles, which is completely fine and, and just, you know, handy with, but... Just the the overall factor of uh, of Tenkaichi three speaks for itself because it, it, I I think it just uh, it pretty much set this the stage for the future generations to come. Like for example, every time I play Xenoverse, I don't know why I think of Tenkaichi. Like even though it's not the same in a way, like the the overall feel of it, like being able to fly anywhere you want and just the way you fight, uh -huh. it reminds me of, of Tenkaichi three. So again, yeah. like Ram Style said, guys, if you guys did not like it, let us know down below on why because I am more than curious to find out in of it myself. So yeah, and even if you didn't like it, like again. I just accept it. Let's let, let's get another DBZ game here. And I mean, to those who want Budoka Three on the PS4, I mean, feel free to even count Budoka Three in our block bus as well. But here's if they the give question, us any you know, kind of Dragon Ball people, game, what about the people that don't have PS4s? What about the people that don't just have Xbox Ones? Oh yeah, let me address that. So a lot of people were asking, like, how come you guys, you know, left Xbox in the dust? And the main reason why is to kind of address this, uh, mainly because. Uh, Take actually three was developed on the PS2, and for it to be ported over into digital release on PS10, it's very easy for them. Now, this is not to purposely say, "Oh, screw Xbox fans," you know, us PS fans, our PS users are going to just uh, have fun if this game ever came out on PS10 digital. Uh, the the theory that I had was, if this is all theoretic, remember, if uh, uh, Take H3 does come out on PSN and it is very successful. I see it very likely for them to take that and port it over for Xbox One as well, because Xbox One does have emulation as well that came out uh, actually before the PS4 did. Now it's for Xbox 360 emulation, not for PS emulation. But I, f I feel like if a game like uh, Tank HD 3 is very successful on PS10, I don't see why they wouldn't release basically the HD collection, for example, or just make a Xbox One version of it and release it for Xbox Live for you to download. So that's why we didn't talk about Xbox in our original video. And again, this is all theoretic. For all we know, if it does come out, it might only be on PS10, but Again, Bandai Namco is a smart company, and they know if a game like Tenkaichi 3 does sell really, really well on the, on the PSN for the PS4, for example, then uh, I'm sure they will try to venture out to see if they can bring on an Xbox One as well. Oh, so, hell yeah. Yo, can you imagine if they had an online Thank you for saying that, because I completely Tenkaichi? forgot to even mention that in my video. Yo, but can you imagine if like they had an online system for Tenkaichi? 
Oh my god, that'd be beautiful. That would be that'd actually. Be it's funny and because I think, uh, I think if they ever came out with like some sort of HD remake, I really hope that they would include that. Even though I really doubt they are. But like, can you imagine like the epicness of everybody getting down well, on Tenkaichi Three online? What I was gonna say is, is the PS4 has uh, SharePlay, and SharePlay, to those who don't know, this it allows you basically to connect to your friends across the world. Essentially, on the same, it's like a split screen, but not on the same couch. And I feel like theoretically, theoretically, because they are imp implementing SharePlay on select uh, PSN titles uh, on the PS4. Uh, I feel like if they really work on it, they can add SharePlay into Take Action 3, and you can do split screen battles with your friends across the whole world. So in a way, it'll be like working. Uh, you know. It, 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 it's like a cheat way to implement multiplayer, but it would work technically. So fingers crossed, if that does happen, that could work out as well. I just want to contest that idea as well. Uh, but online take H3 would be awesome. That I'm not gonna lie, amazing, I would love to see that. Hell yeah. Anyway, well, so let us know your thoughts. Uh, just a quick video. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, quick 60 minute video. <laughs> let us know your thoughts below. What you guys think about Tank IG3, whether you liked it or hated it. Uh, if you are one of those people that goes around saying, oh, it's overrated. I mean, what is it about it that's. What would what would be so bad about getting Take Action 3 on the PS4 as an extra release? Like, would that be the worst thing that could happen? Basically, it's just a chance to speak out in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, I don't know, let's see what it says. Big shout out to Doctor Love because this is this debate, this video was spawned because me and Doctor Love were going back and forth on Twitter the other day uh, about Take Action 3, and he likes Take Action 3, shout but he was like, Dr. "Oh yeah, well, Love. Take Action 3 is overrated." So I was like, it's not that overrated. It's it's a fun game. It, it was enjoyable. It was just. The game was not perfect. No Dragon Ball Z game was perfect, but at the end of the day, it was fun as fuck, and that's all that's important when it comes out to uh, Dragon Ball Z games. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. and, and one other thing is, like, learn to appreciate, guys, because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys remember when there was a time where we never had anything going on for Dragon Ball. Like, games were, like, coming yeah. out once in a blue. We had no TV show or nothing. So just appreciate what we have now. If they decide to come out with a, a you know, a Tenkaichi 3, uh, you know, just HD remake or maybe like some sort of like emulator for it for the PS4. Appreciate it, play it, enjoy it because you'll never really know exactly. when you know production will stop because you know, hey, we we are living in a world where things can just suddenly you know abruptly stop. So just appreciate what you guys have. And uh, as Dragon Ball fans, I think we all do appreciate the, you know, like the titles in and of itself. Some people might say uh -huh. again, I prefer this over this. But e needless to say, guys, let us know what you guys think down below. Yeah. And uh, shout out to and Mr. Dino because he hit me up yesterday. He was like, Yo, man. The PS4 is having an emulation system. I was like, I know, and he was like, No Dragon Ball, and I was like, Fuck! But uh, <laughs> yeah, I like. Ended up and in before we end this, right? Before we end this, just kind of go off what Alex said. Yeah, you might have your preferences. Some might like Budokan Tenkaichi Three. Some might like, might like Budokan Three. Some might like Dragon Ball Infinite World. But guess what, guys? End of the day, we all like Dragon Ball Z games. So we're one family here. No matter what your preferences, we're one family here. So uh, us together as one squad, one group is amazing. And I guess let us know your thoughts overall below. Uh, over the Tekaichi 3 game right now, and I guess that's that's pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, Alex, anything else? I would have to say that I am creating an open challenge. I am challenging all Yamchas within the community to step up in Xenoverse against either me or Rhyme Styles. Just uh, the rule is, just every time you see us online, you have to select Yamcha. That's it. It's just that's that's the rule. We'll, we'll be Yamcha. You'll be Yamcha. Ooh, actually, Yamcha's Yamcha a good win. character. Don't forget that Spirit Ball is evil. It is evil. Freaking Yamcha Spirit believe, Ball is an evil move. Yamcha, I can't believe Yamcha beat Piccolo, dude. That's just ah. Oh my gosh. Uh. Anyway, so let us know your thoughts below, uh, and I guess we'll just take it from there. Take it easy, guys. Peace.